Fox News alert. Just a couple of minutes ago, Trey Yinks and his crew had to take cover along the Gaza Israeli border. He just jumped back in front of the camera. He's wearing the helmet. Trey, what's going on? Yeah, guys, good morning. There was just an alert here for incoming rocket fire. We didn't see any, any interceptions overhead, but all of the soldiers that are at the positions behind us went uh, down flat on the ground. We did the same and got into the ditch here on the side of the road. It's just like this in the south of Israel right now. It's part of covering this story. But the latest information we have from Gaza indicates they will continue firing rockets despite the fact that Israel is striking from both the ground, the air, and the sea. Overnight, airstrikes continued against the Gaza Strip. We might have some video here of the aftermath of what this uh, destruction looks like inside Gaza City. And we're getting new numbers from the Palestinian Health Ministry uh, that indicate more than 1,000 people inside Gaza have been killed since the massacre here in southern Israel. We also know that the border with Lebanon is becoming a big part of this story and something that's incredibly concerning for the Israeli military. Earlier today, an anti-tank missile was fired at a group of Israeli soldiers, and we know that the Israelis have been responding to that fire uh, with airstrikes and also artillery of their own. So already this is developing quickly into a multi-front conflict. There are thousands of troops staging here in southern Israel, and each and every hour the Israelis are getting a better idea of the atrocities that were committed against their people and the slaughter of civilians and soldiers over the weekend. All right, uh, Trey, stay safe. Uh, keep an eye on what's going on there.